regrette rien. Hi there. Welcome to this virtual training session summary. This was the second truly hands-on and I believe it was the fifth in the AutoCAD OEM virtual training series. If you have not joined these sessions live, make sure to register when we announce our next one. I believe we will do uh, three or four more this year. We'd love to see you all in our virtual events uh, since we are not able to do any traveling at the moment. This recap video will summarize the Express Tools virtual training session. It will cover all the steps, exercises and critical details, uh, the samples and the material I will present will be accessible on our developer zone so you can go through the exercises at your own pace. I'm Pavo Antanen, OEM Consulting Engineer at Techsoft 3D. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. AutoCAD Express Tools is a collection of productivity tools that extend the power of AutoCAD. You can access most of the Autodesk or AutoCAD Express Tools from the uh, Express Tools tab in the AutoCAD ribbon. The ones that are not on the ribbon can be started from the command window with the exception of dump SHX, dump shape, which needs to be started from the operating system command prompts. Express Tools feature set is not part of OEM. However, many of the features are written in Lisp so they can be compiled for use in AutoCAD OEM or in your OEM products. In this class, we're looking at these three Express Tools commands. Xtrim for trimming geometries at a specific cutting edge. Text Explode for exploding text entities into polyline geometries. Flatten lets you project 3D geometries onto the current plane. Express Tools features rely on some utility functions that are gathered into a few core modules. If you have a copy of AutoCAD and look in the Express folder, there is a native module named ACETutil.arx that is used by Express Tools uh, feature set. We also have some FAS files that are critical for executing these commands. If we then take a look at AutoCAD OEM, we'll find the ACET util ARX runtime is also in OEM. Stepping into the support folder, you'll see that we do have the FAS files in OEM as well. These are all part of the OEM core engine. They will be stamped and bound to your product automatically. Now let's see what we need to do to bring the Xtreme command into OEM. First, Let's have a look at the Xtrim LSB file for dependencies. As I scroll down the file, I can see there are nothing but standard AutoLisp and ACET calls. A next step for us would be to compile the LSB file into FAS. I'll skip that step here, but if you need to find out how to do that, it's, a, it's explained in the OEM developer's help. The compiled FAS file is available as a download on Texas 3D Developer Zone, just as all samples for this class or any other class uh, that we publish. Now I will simply launch the Make Wizard, create a new project that I'll name ETVT for Express Tools 
virtual training. I will call the product Express CAD and I will put the company name TechSoft 3D. Enable all commands for simplicity and um, add the Xtreme FAS file. Bind Lisp, Support Folder, and in your modules, uh, your module settings tab, we add the Xtreme command. To make this run properly, we need to take care of loading and the ACET dependencies. As we do not have an ETVT doc LSP or FAS file from before, we make a copy of the AOEM doc LSP Add our loading of Xtreme and the dependencies as the Express Tools help file. The content for uh, Express Tools is included also in OEM. We may as well assign the help file topic. I have pre built one for you. After saving and compiling the file into FAS, we add the file for binding by the Make Wizard. We also create an etvt.rx file. This is for loading the acetutil.arx runtime at our application startup. This makes sure it is always present. These files are all available as downloads on our developer zone under the training tab. I have also added a pre-built help file for our ExpressCAD application. It's the CHM file. Uh, and uh, how you compile the help file is also described in the OEM developer's help. Um, now, we build, run, open a drawing, Create some geometries. Run the Xtreme command. Hit F1 to learn how the command works. Okay, and then we make the selection. I mentioned text explode and flatten initially. Now let's see how we can add those as well to our OEM application. Close down the Express CAD host application. Take a look at the text explode Lisp source. We have the ACET dependencies listed in the beginning, meaning we should be fine with just the ACET acetutil.fas and ARX files. Again, we compile textexplode.lsp into FAS. We add the compiled FAS in the make wizard, make the proper configuration. Next step is to look at the flatten.lsp source. At the end, we can see that the flatten.sup.lsp file is loaded as a dependency. So we will have to investigate also that file. In the flatten xref function, you can see that there are a couple of Visual Lisp calls, meaning those need to be replaced with Autolisp code. That is left as an exercise for the viewer. We won't be able to flatten external references in this class. Other dependencies we see at the bottom of this file are the WMF and hatch functions. Let's have a look at the file 
acet-wmf.lsp. In this file, you can see that the colors are handled using VLAX calls. Those are not supported in OEM either. They need to be rewritten using standard AutoLisp code. For this exercise and the flattened sample we're doing, we can manage without doing that. And it's not really in the scope of this class. At the bottom, we have the already covered flattened SUP dependency and another one for joining polylines. To save time, I will skip looking at the hatch util and pline join list files as they don't include any new dependencies or visual list code. You may have a look at your own though. After compiling these into FAS, we go back to the make wizard and configure the additional files. An additional FAS file that will be needed for this is the acetutil4.fas. This file is not present in OEM. We simply make a copy of the vanilla AutoCAD version and use that. What is left for us to make this work now is to edit our etvtdoc.lsp file to load also the newly added files. We also set the help topic for the commands we're adding, text explode and flatten. Thereafter, we compile the etvtdoc.lsp file into FAS automatically getting a new version of the, uh, the one we were using where for, for the previous uh, part of the exercise uh, with, uh, what was the name of the command? Uh, uh, extreme. Mm. Um, there is an FAS version of this file as well but also the LSP version for you to look at um, in the de developer zone download. Uh, build the Express CAD product. Let's verify these two new commands. First, create a text. Run text explode. Hit F1. Okay, go ahead and explode the text. Now let's run flatten, create a 3D object, run flatten. You actually don't need to enter the command before hitting F1. The help topic is picked up already at the dynamic input tooltip. So uh, hit F1. Yeah, enter the command, select the sphere, and it's flattened. <clears throat> that covers pretty much all the steps needed. Along with this video and the exercise material, there is also a PDF of these slides that I used during the class. You should be able to do the exercises at your own pace using all of those. If you have any questions about the topic discussed in this class, feel free to send me an email at pavo at techsoft3d.com. Like I said in the beginning, sign up for upcoming classes to attend live. We'd love to see you there. Thank you for watching.
this guy is on a cattle wind, the hill he's gonna die on? Come on, if you're gonna do it, do it for real, man. The fact that some of the Express Tools commands are ribbon commands and included in the default set of resources was completely overlooked in this video. If you implement a command like text explode, it's part of the standard UI. By importing the Express Tools ribbon item to your own CUIX file, you'll get the command, small and large icons, extended tooltip, and context sensitive help hovering the ribbon button. Dude, how can you overlook something like that? Don't get me wrong, I think you do great working at McDonald's. We hacked the download archive and added an ETVT CUIX file incorporating the UI resources for the Text Explode ribbon. The rest of the stuff is pretty, ah, it's all right.